rap song is red pill red gating um rap song is red a lot of people in shock and disbelief Darcy. it used to be a time that fairy tales were true the king and the queen and all the pills were blue but then the pill changed the red pills to true forget to marry life i got better things to do welcome back to the anthony spade channel before we get started go ahead and hit that like button that subscribe button and that notifications button so you can get the videos as soon as i put them out Next, I would not be talking about all women, even though it feels like it. And if you haven't subscribed to my second channel, Life with Anthony Spade, and you want the music to the intro, the links are below in the description. All right, today I'm going to be reacting to two videos. The first video is going to be Young Dolph gunned down in his own neighborhood. The second video is going to be a woman pays her man $10,000 to stay in a relationship after she gets caught cheating. With no further ado, let's get to the first story. On Wednesday afternoon, rapper and music executive Young Dolph was killed in a shooting outside a store in Memphis, a source tells Billboard. Take a real good look, Darcy. You can see there are a lot of uh, top brass here from the Memphis Police Department. You see them right there. They're, they're uh, rendezvousing right there by that uh, Memphis paramedic uh, unit. And um, wow, I believe I lost you on IFB, uh, but I'm calling back right now. But you can see it right here. Right here, it's uh, an unbelievable sight, an unbelievable feeling. Show them right over here, uh, Southgate. You can see that uh, people are, again, congregating, congregating. Um, a lot of people in shock and disbelief. Darcy? Uh, Jeremy, as you said, so many people are out there right now. This is a very tense situation. Young Dolph is a well-known Memphis rapper. We've also learned that he has two children, apparently. We're still working to learn the ages of um, the two children, but this is this is devastating for the community. Absolutely, this is something that happened uh, literally just a, a few minutes mm -hmm. ago. Mm -hmm. um, we've reached out, as Darcy has said repeatedly, we reached out to several sources, including MPD sources, and we do have it confirmed that rapper Young Dolph was shot and killed there on airways. That's the scene you're mm -hmm. seeing in the airport area on the right of your screen. Uh, Darcy, Darcy, when I was coming in just a few moments ago, um, I saw several uh, police units, including a couple of police trucks. You see those barricades that are up right now. They brought in more barricades. They're expecting a massive crowd to gather there. And uh, as Jeremy pointed out, we're still gathering details right. on exactly how this happened, where it happened, and possibly why it happened. Mm -hmm. uh, I spoke to uh, rapper Al Capone on the phone just a few minutes ago, and I asked him pointedly, I said, did, did you know of anyone that had you know, a real issue right. uh, with Young Dolph right now? And he said, not right now. He said, I think I would know because we usually hear about, as he put it, you know, the, the little beefs as well as the big beefs that are going on. He said, I don't know of anything. He said, everybody is blown away and said that his phone had been blowing up for the last 10 to 15 minutes. There's still so many questions surrounding what happened, why it happened, as you just said earlier. That's why Fox 13's Jeremy Pierre, he was one of the first reporters on the scene. He obviously, we have learned today, he has history. With Born Adolph Robert Thornton Jr., Dolph became a huge success as an independent star in the Memphis rap scene after releasing his debut album, King of Mrs. Memphis, 2016. Since then, Young Dolph has dropped three top 10 albums on Billboard's 200 with 2020 Rich Slave, which debuted at number four on the charts. His albums earned a combined 2.6 million equivalent album units sold 221,000 copies according to MRC data. Despite his wins on the artist and executive side, Dolph nearly lost his life several times in the past due to multiple gun shootings. In February 2017, more than 100 shots were fired at his SUV in Charlotte, North Carolina. He walked out unscathed and later released a song called 100 Shots detailing the incidents. Later that year, Dolph was shot in Los Angeles, where he recovered from three gunshot wounds. All right. This is another, another sad situation of another rapper who has died and got gunned down. The only downfall about this and the bad part about this is because he was gunned down in his hometown. Now, Luda Boosie has mentioned millions of times that People from your own town is going to be the ones that hate you because you hypnotize them with hatred whenever it comes to your music. One thing I can say about rap music is that a lot of these rappers promote violence. They promote death. They promote a slotomy. But when it happens to them, do we cry or do we congratulate the shooter? 
And the reason why I say that is because none of this music is good. It's all hypnotizing the youth with genocide. If you stop, right? Majority of this is in the African-American community. But what the African-American community don't understand is, is if a white guy makes a song talk about killing another white guy, he's going to be looked at as mentally unstable. It's the same thing with any other race of people. If they make a song talking about the same thing that rappers are talking about, they would be put in a mental hospital. But... If you're black and you're a rapper, you're allowed to talk about slutting your women out. You're allowed to talk about killing everybody around you because we all glorified the gangsters. We glorified the mobsters. They glorified Alpo when he got out. It took a guy killing him over a woman. But if that guy did not kill him over a woman, chances are Alpo would be still running around as well. This is definitely a sad situation and it's definitely not the last situation because we are going into hard times right now. And rappers are looked at just like drug dealers, which means that the guys in the streets do not care about taking your life because they don't think what you're doing is valuable. All right. A lot of the wolves. And I've told guys this wolves are out now in today's world. A lot of people feel like they can run out and buy all the jewelry, buy all the cars and still flash their money. You can't do that. We're living in a time now where the PP loans are over with. The little money that they was giving you back for the CV, that's over with. Now you're in survival mode and the easiest target is going to be the drug dealers and the rappers because they make it look like their money is long, they're living a good life and they're taunting it in front of vultures. You can't go around poor neighborhoods flashing your money. All right. People will be envious. Nobody loves your success. Nobody wants to see you being more successful than them. A lot of these were happy for you and this. This is just all for show. It's just all for show. And unfortunately, this is another sad situation with another rapper who has been gunned down, going too soon. But at the same time, it won't be the last. All right. Next up, I have a video of a girl who gets caught by her man cheating and texting other dudes and she pays him how much to stay in the relationship? Let's get to it. Never did that. Mm -hmm. I was just messaging it because I wanted money. So I'm like, let me flirt back and forth with him to see if I can get money. And I did. So that was whatever. Mm -hmm. But it's like, I never, Go to his only fans. I don't know exactly which one it's his account. Go to it's, it. It's anonymous. Go to it. You you know, know, you know. Go to you it. Want me to, do you Go want to message it. Back in Houston. No, I don't want to lose you. Get off I of don't me. Want to lose you. Like, I don't want to lose you. No, because you, it, you. I will, I'll send you $10,000. Send it Something is real weird about these modern relationships. Things are just weird between men and women when it comes to dating. In my world, dating now, having kids, being with a woman is a waste of time. Can you still find someone to be with? Yes. It's just that we're living in a weird time. It's easy to get money. It's easy to be whoever you want to be. Everyone is running around hoping that someone could treat them how they feel inside. A lot of these relationships now, they're not real relationships. Even though she's sitting there begging him to come back, we don't even know if this is real or not. But typically, it's another woman who come from a home with no father. The lack of fathers in the home is the biggest problem in today's world. It, why? Because there's nothing but a generation of genocide of people running around. All right. This is Anthony Spade. Hopefully, you guys are able to get the message behind the video. Comment, like, subscribe to both of my channels. Hasta la vista.